Hi there, I'm Mel from Twinkle and today we're going to take a look at how you can use the Animal Habitats PowerPoint from the Twinkle website to learn about where different animals live and what they need to survive. This beautifully illustrated PowerPoint can be used to support some science learning. It introduces new vocabulary to the children while offering some clear explanations of what makes a great home or habitat for different animals. PowerPoint includes some great habitat examples for animals that you might have easy access to. For example, you could use the what do dogs need in a habitat slide as an example and then ask your children or group of children to talk about what kind of habitats other pets they have like rabbits or cats might need to be happy. This resource also describes what can happen when animals don't have the right environment to live in and introduces the term extinct. You can use this slide as a fantastic classifying activity where children can sort the animals to show off their understanding of what they have learned. If you have a printer, you could print off the slide and let your child sort the animals into extinct and living by writing the names under the right heading. You could get them to cut and stick the animals or draw pictures in the correct column if you need to simplify. If you don't have a printer at home, just use some plain paper and draw the animals into two groups, living and extinct. And the Twinkle website has some wonderful resources that you can use to take learning about animal habitats even further. After you've engaged with the PowerPoint, you could go on a safe outdoor walk around your school field or if you are at home into your garden or local wood. Use this scavenger hunt checklist to tick off what animals you see and some of the habitat features that you spot there too. And if you click the more downloads option on the website resource, you can even download an editable version of the scavenger hunt sheet. This is perfect if you want to get the children to focus more on habitat features specifically found in your area. You could use this animals in their habitat sheet to allow the children to apply their learning. Give each child their own animal and ask them to complete the sheet, describing where the animal lives, what it eats, and what will happen if it doesn't have the right environment to live in. See if the children can remember the key vocabulary, like using the words habitat and extinct correctly. To stretch and challenge, ask the children to explain out loud why they think their animal lives in a specific habitat. Can they write their answer as a sentence using a capital letter, finger space and full stop correctly? So why not release your inner scientist and head over to the Twinkle website to download these resources now. See you next time.